Hello, I'm Echo Quigrin. In this video, I'm going to show you my top 8 strategies I use to buy 13 properties in just under one year. With very little to no cent of my own money. And how you too can do the same. You don't want to miss this one. Let's go. People have been asking me lately, Echo, how did you buy 70 properties within a five year period? So today I've decided to spill it out and share my eight strategies with you. In this video, I'm only going to show you a high level concept of how I use these strategies with some real life property examples. But I promise to do subsequent videos where I detail each strategy one by one. Strategy number one, rent to own. This is by far my favorite and this is how I do it. I bought this rental property using proceeds from a rent to buy option deal. A few years ago, I was about to become a tenant to a three bedroom single family rundown property. I asked the landlord to give me an option to buy his property. We agreed on a three year lease with an option to buy at the end of the lease for 200,000 rand. I got the contract notarized by an attorney and I didn't physically take occupation of the property. I fixed up the property, rented it out, and from the very beginning, I had a little profit each month for myself. Within 10 months, I sold the property for 350,000 rand, and I had 150,000 as my profit. Strategy number two, no money down deals. No money down deals basically means you do not have to look good on paper. It means you as a buyer must think creatively about different ways of coming up with the purchase price or down payment without parting away with a cent of your money. I bought this property for 280,000 rand with no cent of my own money, revamped it and refinanced it in the same year for 680,000 rand. I made a cool 400,000 profit. I still own this property. What do you think I did with my money? Of course, I did more deals with it. Low money down deals. Guys, never be afraid to make a low offer. Forget about your psychological problems. Just make the offer. The seller might be delighted that someone wants his property. One of the first deals in my career involved the use of a low money down deal. I made an offer of 10,000 rand on this one bedroom flat and had a personal check for 500 rand attached. My offer was much lower than the asking price of 25,000 rand. Eventually, it was accepted for 13,000 rand. Today, this flat makes me a net rent profit of 3,000 rand on a monthly basis. Strategy number four, installment sale. Installment sale agreement is an agreement between a seller and the purchaser where the parties agree for the purchase price of a property to be paid by the seller. So instead of me, the buyer, traditionally going to a bank to finance the deal, the seller is going to carry the paper back. That means the seller will act as the bank. And this is exactly what I did with this property. Tax refund. I get nice tax refunds through tax losses and tax credit. Because of the depreciation the tax man gives me. And I use the refunds to buy more investment properties so that the tax man can continue to make me rich. I got 240,000 rand tax refund from this three bedroom rental apartment. Watch my video on tax benefit of real estate investing to learn how I do that. Strategy number six, bank financing. Bank financing means asking a bank to lend you money that you agree to repay at some point in the future. I love bank financing. Not only do I leverage off 
the bank's money to do bigger and better deals, I also get protected from other creditors. And the cool thing is, interest on money borrowed for investment is tax deductible. When I refinance my home loan, I'm basically securing a new mortgage for my property based on its current value and not on the amount it was valued at when I took out the initial home loan. This gives me access to cash. For example, I bought this two bedroom flat for 100,000 rand a few years ago. The property was valued for 200,000. This gave me 100,000 rand equity in my property. I refinanced the 100,000 loan balance for 200,000 and received 100,000 rand cash. Last but not the least is property stock fail. Property stock fail is a way of raising capital from a large group of people where each member contributes equal amount of cash to a pool of funds every month. For example, I got a property stock fail club to finance this property. I got from the auction and later sold the property for net profit of 120,000 rand. I got 50% of the net profit, which was 60,000. And the stock fell club got the remaining 60,000. Making money, as my mentor put it, is as easy as falling off a log. Getting on the log is the biggest problem. To do that, you need both the required knowledge and skills. Now, having knowledge is one thing, but you need one more thing. That, and that is you combining your acquired knowledge with skill. If you have been watching my videos, then you've gained great knowledge. Chances of you becoming successful is very, very high. That's how you truly become successful. Knowledge is just your potential. Turning your potential into profit, you need skill. At my Property Ask Echo Masterclass, I'm going to give you the key, the key you need to unlock your potential within you. If you enjoy my videos, you will love my masterclass.